Hi, Blood Talk fans. Today is another episode in Blood Bank. If you cannot tell, it is one of my favorite department in the lab. Well, now you know. We will be talking about topic related to massive transfusion protocol. I will give you the clinical definitions of the MTP and laboratory practice. This video will give you information on the laboratory side. So if you are looking for how to transfuse quickly, this is not for you. But you will have more understandings of the MTP, especially on the laboratory side of things. Without further ado, let's get into it. I cannot talk about massive transfusion protocol without mentioning massive hemorrhage. Massive hemorrhage is a condition when a patient is bleeding heavily. MTP is a procedure in place for hospital personnel to deal with a massive hemorrhage situation. The definitions of MTP. 1. Replace of one entire blood volume within 24 hours. 2. Transfusions of more than 10 units of RBCs in 24 hours. 3. Transfusions of more than 4 units of RBCs in 1 hour. 4. Replacement of 50% of blood volumes within 3 hours. These are by the book definitions but it is not what I'm referring to when we are talking about massive hemorrhage when the MTP is activated in a hospital where I worked at. When we activate the MTP, it is the mutual understanding that the patient needs a lot of blood and need it now. A lot will be going on at the same time. A lot of people are involved. The doctors and nurses are trying to stop the bleeding and figure out the cause or just stabilize the patients. At the same time, a doctor would ask for a nurse to call blood bank to activate MTP. In the lab, there are a lot of actions going on as well. What happens in the blood bank when MTP is activated? When an MTP is activated, these will be our priority. It will be all hand on deck situations. We would try to prepare red blood cells, plasma, and platelet for the patients as fast as possible. In my hospital, a cooler would be ready in 10 minutes, and it consists of 6 units of RBCs, 6 units of plasma, and 1 unit of platelet. The ideal is to keep 1 to 1 to 1 ratios. This appears to be the best substitute for fresh whole blood. Note that 1 unit of platelet ephrasis contains about 6 units of platelet concentrate. Therefore, 6 RBCs, 6 plasma, and one platelet is equal to one to one to one. I can see a question arising. If a cooler can be ready within 10 minutes in an MTP situation, then why sometimes does it take an hour to get a cross match red blood cells ready for a patient, right? Well, red blood cells in MTP coolers are not necessarily type specific or cross match unit. We may not even have a patient blood type at that time. It is a better practice in a non-emergency situations to give patients plasma compatible and cross mass blood products. However, in an emergency situations, safety of life is first, and we would be dealing with the complications later. As lead, we have the patient to save, right? I mean, we would try to minimize complications even when we don't know the patient blood type by giving universal red blood cells and plasma. But the patients may have antibody that we don't know of, and those units may not be compatible. If you are working at the patient bedside, please get a sample to blood bank as soon as possible. And I'm not talking about one or two drops. I want you to send a full tube to blood bank. If the patient is really bleeding and need a lot of transfusions, this original sample will give information that the later sample won't be able to give, such as patient blood type and antibody if the patient has it. That's all I have for today. Did I miss anything? If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer them. If I don't know, I will try my best to find out for you. Also, keep in mind that the information I put together here is the general practice at the moment. As time change, certain practice may change and different institutions may have different policies. So please keep an eye out for that. If you like my video and think it's helpful in any way, please share it with your friends and I shall see you all next time.
As always, remember your blood tell you the story of your health. Thanks for watching. Bye.